The morning after the first friendly of the pre-season, the players are back out and back in training. It was a disappointing afternoon yesterday as game against Dundee ended 2-0. It was the first chance for fans to see new signings Fernando and Willy Caballero, both on show as well as the new home kids. Splitting his side into two, manager Manuel Pellegrini made nine changes at half-time, Emir Hughes and Caballero the only two to play the full 90 minutes. The Argentine keeper was impressive on his debut and saved a penalty from Gary Harkins, only for the ball to rebound to the Scot, who put the home side in front. The game finished 2-0 to Dundee. City will now be looking to bounce back when they face Hearts on Friday. Well, you may not know this, but every training session at the club is filmed by our performance analysis team. I've got one right up here on the scaffold, Rich. Hello. Uh, Rich, just explain what you're doing here, here above the action. Okay, so we film every session, um, obviously, so that allows the coaches to have a look back at the drills and everything they've done, um, see if, if there's anything they need to see again, they can, they can have a look again. And then also, in the unfortunate event of any injuries, we can then pass the footage onto the medical lads and they can help with the diagnosis maybe a little bit better than they might have otherwise. Whilst a number of up and coming players are here training with the first team squad, Patrick Vieira has taken the rest of his development side to Croatia. After a successful trip to the country last year, the focus is on helping players rise through the ranks from the under-18s to EDS level. Angelino is one of the players who graduated into the EDS this season and spoke to us about making the transition. Congratulations on promotion to the EDS. Um, how pleased are you to make this step up? Yeah, thank you very much. I'm really pleased. So I was looking forward last season to get in the under-21 squad, so I'm very pleased to be here today. And um, regularly training under Patrick Vieira, that must be a real privilege. No, yeah, it's really good training with Patrick Vieira because you learn every day you learn something and he can teach you everything because he's been there as well, so he knows everything. And you can keep up to date with what's happening out there on City TV. And finally, we think we could have found the next sportsman to add his name to this list. Well, Javi Garcia, who claims he doesn't play golf, surprised us all earlier with his putting skills. That's all from us. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> <laughs> For today is enough. <laughs>